Hello everybody, this is Kirby over yonder, and while we're in the middle of waiting for the second half of Adventure Time Distant Land, I thought it would be a fun idea to discuss my ideas for a potential sequel to Distant Land. But just keep in mind that these are my ideas for a hypothetical Distant Land too. I'm not necessarily saying I want there to be a sequel to it. As for whether or not I do want a Distant Land 2, I'm kinda mixed on it. You see, I'm a big fan of shows that have endings, shows that don't need to go on forever and ever, and can just have a satisfying ending which provides closure for the main characters. There's something so inherently satisfying about having an ending for characters that we care about, because it helps make them feel like real people, it helps make them feel like they've grown and changed. Sure, there are shows that end way too early, shows whose finales leave a lot to be desired, and whatever the hell the Samurai Jack finale was supposed to be. But more often than not, with shows like Gravity Falls and Avatar, the finale is often considered to be one of, if not the, best episode in the entire show. And letting the show end is often preferable over having a show go on forever like The Simpsons or Spongebob. However, Adventure Time is a little bit different. You see, unlike Spongebob, there's enough variety in characters and locations in Adventure Time to justify it having more than 10 seasons. And unlike The Simpsons, it hasn't gone on for long enough to the point where it's basically used any idea it could have to death. I'd say Adventure Time is currently at a happy medium right now, to the point where it's not oversaturated, but there are a lot of ideas that could be done with it. That's kind of what's so exciting about the idea of a Distant Lands 2. So basically, if a Distant Lands 2 were to happen, I would be excited for it, but if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be too upset either. With that said, here are my six ideas for a Distant Lands 2. First up, we have Normal Man. In case you forget, Normal Man used to be Magic Man, up until his depression and insanity was transferred over to Betty, which also gave Betty his magical abilities. And now he's just a normie. Well, actually, he's King Man now, but you get the idea. I really like Normal Man, I think he's a very funny and entertaining character, and I think it'll be cool to see what his life is like now that he's King of Mars. It would be interesting to see if he still feels guilt for all the bad things he did as Magic Man. Maybe he could go on some big quest to help make up for those things. I'd also imagine we'd get some flashbacks of when he used to be Magic Man. We might even get to see a bit more of his life with Marvels. Aside from a couple episodes, we really didn't get to see a lot of Normal Man, and it would be nice to get some closure on him. Next up, we have Billy! Speaking of characters we barely get to see, hey look, it's Billy. Hey look, he's dead. Still though, Billy is a fascinating character, and it's surprising just how little he appears throughout the series. I mean, considering the fact that he was most likely Finn's inspiration for being a hero in the first place, you'd think he'd show up at least a couple more times. My idea for this special is that it would focus on Billy's past when he used to be a hero. Heck, we know Billy's dealt with the Lich before, so it would be cool if we got to see that. It would be pretty neat if we got to see Canyon alongside too, since we barely ever got to see them together. But what I'd especially love is if at the end we saw a very young Finn watching Billy kick butt and decide that he's going to be an adventurer too. Look, call it a cliche, I just think it would be neat. I don't know. Either way, I think Billy's a really cool character and well deserving of a Distant Land special. And next, we've got Prismo. Prismo's another one of those characters that I really like, but we don't get to see a whole lot of. To be fair though, this is somewhat understandable. It's probably hard to write stories around Prismo since he's mostly just confined to his time room. Still though, I like Prismo and I think he would be neat. My idea for this one is that somebody, it doesn't really matter who, for the sake of the video we'll just say Princess Bubblegum, enters Prismo's time room to make a wish, very similar to how Finn and Jake do during the Finn the Human Jake the Dog two-parter at the beginning of season 5. From there the episode would split off into two different plots, one where we see the alternate reality that was created by PB's wish, 
And another where we follow Prismo, and it would sort of act as a behind-the-scenes to the wish. Maybe as the alternate reality gets worse and worse, we'd see Prismo try to fix things, we'd see him react to it, you know, stuff like that. This is very similar to the annoyingly titled the Jake the Dog half of the two-parter I mentioned before. But where that episode was only 11 minutes long, which made the switch between the two plots feel like tonal whiplash, and made it so both stories were kind of underdeveloped. This would be 44 minutes, thus making it so we can spend more time on each half of the episode. Oh, also, I want to meet Prismo's boss. I just find the fact that a cosmic entity like Prismo has a boss to be really funny, and I, I want to meet him. Okay, so this next one contains spoilers for the BMO special of Adventure Time Distant Lands, so if you haven't seen that, then watch it or else skip to the time on screen right now. Three, two, one, here we go. Martin sure is a fascinating character, isn't he? When we first meet him, he's portrayed as a complete loser who doesn't care about Finn and only uses other people for his own personal gain. This emotionally torments Finn throughout the rest of the season, only getting worse the more the two interact. However, later on in the Islands miniseries, we learned that at one point, Martin actually was a very caring father towards Finn, even sacrificing his life with Minerva for his sake. The next we see him is in the BMO special of Adventure Time Distant Lands, where he is disguised as Mr. M and is working under Hugo. Basically, I want to know how he went from this to this. What's he doing on an alien planet? Why is he working under Hugo? Why is he disguised as Mr. M? And most importantly, how did he go from a flawed but genuinely caring person to the utter scumbag he is when he meets Finn? Martin is a character with a ton of depth to him, and I feel like the BMO special raised more questions than it answered. He's definitely deserving of a Distant Land special that further explores his character. Shermie and Beth Shermie and Beth are two characters introduced in the series finale of Adventure Time, and even though they appear for a grand total of less than 10 minutes, I immediately fell in love with them. The two are just so silly and fun and perfectly embody the spirit of Finn and Jake. I want to see the two go on an adventure together like Finn and Jake would. It would also be a great opportunity to explore the future land of Ooh, see how far technology has advanced and what sort of wacky new characters there are. Heck, maybe we'd even get to see some characters we're already familiar with, but a thousand years in the future. There really are endless possibilities for a concept like this, and that's what makes it so exciting. I mean, the Land of Vu is already such a vast and expansive place. Just imagine how it must be a thousand years in the future. It'd almost feel like missed opportunity if they didn't do anything with it. I've honestly wanted a Shermie and Beth spin-off ever since I first watched the finale, so I feel like giving them a Distant Land special would be perfect. However, there is one idea that completely overshadows the rest. The most deserving character of a Distant Land special. The one who needs it the most. Nepter. I know, I know, some of you were probably expecting someone else, but I just can't help it. I'm a Nepter guy. Out of all of the characters in Adventure Time, he is the one who is the most neglected. The one that always gets the short end of the stick. He is the Meg of the show. And yet, he always has a smile on his face, ready to seize the day at any moment. And that's why Nepter needs a Distant Land special. We need Nepter to go on some big, grand quest. Other characters can tag along too, but Nepter needs to be in the lead here. Nepter just needs to find himself, man. He is more than a never-ending pie-throwing robot. He is a real person with real thoughts and feelings. And of course, along the way, we'd be graced by Nepter's beautiful rap skills. Okay, look, realistically speaking, I don't think Nepter's as likely to happen as most, if not all, of the other characters mentioned here. I just have a bit of a fondness for the guy. He's one of my favorite minor characters, and I think a Distant Land special on him would be really fun. But I'm sure not everyone else feels that way, and that's perfectly fine. So, those are my most wanted Distant Land specials. Adventure Time has a ton of characters, so I'm sure there's at least a few that people really want that I didn't mention here. 
So if there's any that you want, please let me know in the comments. So long, have a wonderful day, and Kirby out.